Hello friends, welcome to the next tutorial of this module. Today in this tutorial, we are going to see life practical of IDOR vulnerability. So let's see the same. So what we will do, we will search a website, supposedly, let's see shock clue. Let's open this. Let's sign in using the credentials. I'll just type my mobile phone number and I'll sign via OTP. So now we are signed in. Let's go to the profile section. It's taking some time to load, maybe because of low internet speed. Let's go again. Yeah, so over here, Let's go to the bank details. Over here, let's add bank details. Now let me turn on my verb suit. If I'll change to send OTP, request has been popped up. Let's send it to repeater, turn it off. Over here, if I'll hit go, so email address and phone number has been displayed over here. Now, as you can see, there is a user ID. So if I'll change the user ID and press go, so someone else's email address and phone number is being displayed over here. Let's check one more. another user's email address if I'll change again so there's another email address so this is how we perform IDOR vulnerability on live website so that's all for today thanks a lot for watching this video